Welcome back everyone, tis I, back with your latest Resident Alien review. Episode 7, let's talk about it. Yeah, episode 7, titled Escape from New York. Um, if you remember, last episode ended with Harry um, and Asta finding... Goliath, or where they think Goliath is. Um, we come to find out that Goliath's actually dead, that the woman there um, was sort of like a lover for Goliath, um, and, and she's still got Goliath's body because it's uh, turned to stone. Now, Harry hasn't seen this because Harry's gone off um, on his little acid trip, um, and Asta goes to find him. Um, she ends up telling him that, that um, Goliath is dead, He's a bit sombre, but when she says that he stood up and he's turned to stone, um, Harry gets excited, he runs off. They go to Goliath, they get in there. Um, Harry whacks Goliath and he shouts to the floor. And there's an egg inside. Yeah, and it's like an it's going to be an alien-human um, hybrid kind of creature or individual, shall we say, if you don't know yet. Anyway, they've been hunted down by the... Bad woman. I can't remember her name. I haven't looked. I know that's really lazy of me. Um, you can have a moan about that in the comments if you so wish. So she's there. Um, she sees the egg. She tries to get it. Harry and that goes on the run. Harry and Uster. Um, while being chased by these other two individuals that they didn't sort of overheard them a bit earlier. They end up getting killed by the woman. Um, you know, one of Linda Hamilton's goons from the last season. Harry and that boards a train, blah, blah, blah. Um, she gets killed in a great action scene, um, or a great fight scene, I should say, um, where she's trying to fight Harry, but Harry sort of smashes her out the window and then little arms come out and... I don't know. And then the train hits her head going past. Harry's left him with blood on him. Takes the egg home and all this sort of stuff. So that's your primary story. You've got other stuff going on with all the other characters. You know, the mayor's wife, you find out that she's possibly pregnant. Um, the sheriff, he starts investigating that he may have put away a wrong person. Blah, 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 blah. All this other stuff with every other character, like we get with every single episode. So, I'll be honest, I enjoyed this episode. Um, I think the programme sort of upped its ante a little bit. It, it's Because it, it's dealing with... It's primary storyline, shall we say, the, you know, the, the Harry being hunted down and all this sort of stuff. But now you've intro you're introducing a new dynamic into the show, that being with the egg, which will potentially lead into Harry fathering, shall we say. Um, and, and this is what it was all setting up when he met the little girl of the original Harry, the daughter of the original Harry and all this sort of stuff. And now Harry's going to be in this position moving forward at some point with an, an alien-human hybrid. Now, that, that's a cliché. That, that is a cliché, going back to the days of V, when you've had an alien-human hybrid with magical powers, and feasibly you're going to end up with this sort of a thing in this show. But that remains to be seen. Anyway, the mayor wants to get Harry back as um, town's doctor, so he plans a surprise birthday party. And when Harry and Nat comes back to town, back to his cabin with the egg... Um, they enter and boom, everyone's already inside. Surprise. Um, very convenient timing, shall we say. I don't know how they knew um, Harry or that was back. I suppose they could have said they saw him. Anyway, they, they can they can work around it and say how they knew. But anyway, so overall, um, I thought it was a decent enough episode um, for the primary storyline. The problem is, right, is that if you are not invested in some of the characters. Some of the characters I'm not overly invested in. When it comes to their scenes or their parts during the episode, um, you're gonna you're 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 con you're 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 gonna wane. You're gonna lose interest during them scenes, and it'll have a knock on effect for the entire episode. Because, um, like I said, this program needs to put every character into every episode with these differing storylines going on and, and I know for some people this is probably great it's probably fantastic and they love it but it's a different way of storytelling than what generally a lot of programs do um, 
because you have these multiple, multiple storylines going on for for each character and all this sort of thing. And it's not like it all intertwines. It's not like you get um, it's all, all, all converging on Harry or anything like this. No, it, it's like you're introduced to a load of... You, you've got a load of townsfolk, essentially, haven't you? And they've got their own individual stuff going on. Um, it's not all, all culminating into one, one thing at the end. Um, so this is an issue for the programme and possibly for some viewers of it. Um, Alan Tudyk is fantastic in it. He, he had some great scenes in this when he's talking to himself in New York, when he's... Um, the, the fight scene on the train, like I said, is fantastic. And, you know, he smashed this window, he shoved her body out after she's been decapitated, just as Aster's about to come back in. He sits down, opens up a magazine like nothing's happened, with this massive big window gone as this train, you know, the train's flying down the track. Um... Uh, and then he turned, you know, he's got all the blood on the side of his face and he says that he's killed her um, and did she bring him his ice cream sandwich and this sort of thing. So Alan Tudyk, he, he, he's fantastic in this. He, he's fantastic anyway in most stuff that he does. But he's really knocking this character of Harry out of the park. And, you know, whatever you think of the other stuff going on in the series, Alan Tudyk's always on top form. He's always delivering, uh, and that's just fantastic in itself. So, an enjoyable enough episode. It's certainly stepped up its game over the past couple of episodes, I should say. Um, but obviously, we're coming towards the series end now, so we're going to be getting um, stronger, um, uh, more the stories are stronger, and they're going to be more focused on the primary goal of the series. And the main stuff, obviously, we expect uh, Linda Hamilton to be showing up again, I would say. Um, fingers crossed. But, yeah, so, very, very good. I was surprised that they killed off the bad girl, because um, I quite liked her in it, actually. I thought she was pretty good. Um, but there we go. No kids in this episode. They were not included. Um, but, yeah, there we go. So, fantastic stuff. Um, enjoyed it. Good watch. Um, roll on next week. Okay, that's it. See you later.